Creations for Cures friends. I'm Eileen and I'm a volunteer with Creations for Cures and we are here again this month to do some artwork with you. We have a super fun project to do. Um, it's October so we're gearing up for Halloween. It's super exciting. You're probably thinking about maybe what costume you're gonna wear to go trick-or-treating or you're thinking about going to the pumpkin packs to get your pumpkin or maybe you go apple picking. It's a super exciting time, but this month's craft is we're going to make spider webs. So I have one right here. Here's one I made. Super scary with my little spider in my web. Look! It's the spider web. Ew, spiders! I'm going to put it right up here. So that's what we're going to make. So let's talk about our supplies. So I have a bunch of different popsicle sticks. I have some that are already colored in, and then I have some that I'm gonna paint. So we have two different, I have two different sets. You can use either one you want. Um, I have some glue to help glue. I have some paints, and you can use any colors you want. I'm gonna use, I have black, I have purple, and I have gold, but you can use orange, or brown, or red, any color that you want. Um, I also have my paintbrushes, so I have my paintbrushes. I have some string to make my spider web. I have white and black. And then um, I have some scissors because I'm gonna need to cut my string. So be super careful when you're using your scissors, please. And then I have some fake spiders that I'm gonna use to glue onto my spider web. Max, what are those spiders doing there? Scary? Huh. Okay, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little painting. I think I'm going to paint my popsicle sticks. So I will, I'm going to paint one of these popsicle sticks black. Uh, this is such a fun time of year. Um, and I'm super excited about this craft because I like this, sort of the spooky crafts. And I love the little spiders that are on there. Um, did you know that a spider actually has some really short hairs on its like on the bottom of its feet and that's what helps the spider to actually be able to crawl around on the ceiling and up the sides of the wall Ugh. that's why sometimes when you see that spider up on the wall it's because he's got those little hairs on the bottom of his feet hello spider you think that'd be crazy you think he'd ever want to walk on the ceiling I think that'd be fun. So here's another one. I just painted this one purple. And as you can see, like I said, I'm making a big mess because I always do. I'm gonna paint one more. This one I'm gonna make gold. Gold! Spiders also have eight eyes. Can you imagine all the things you could see if you had eight eyes? Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Now I'm not afraid of spiders, but some people are. <laughs> I know that spiders actually do some good stuff. So now I have one in gold. So there's all my, I'm just gonna rub my hands together because I got all this paint on it. I know that there are some people who are afraid of spiders, but I know spiders do some good things. They, um, they sometimes help keep the pests away in my garden. So I like that they do that. So I think that's super helpful. So I'm not afraid of spiders, but some people are. happens some spiders can be scary like you see a big old tarantula okay so I have all my popsicle sticks painted and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue them together so let's get some glue I'm gonna glue my popsicle and you can use glue Ooh, that came out a lot glue or a glue stick either way and just as you can see kind of have them glued together kind of made them look Sort of like a little triangle. So this is kind of how it looks with my, when it's glued together. I also have this one. I used some popsicle sticks that were already painted. So I used orange and purple. So those are all together. So now I'm gonna take my string. I don't think I need this much string, but who knows, we'll see. I'm going to take this, I'm gonna move my paints out of my way. I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna tie it just around one of these bottom. Let me tie it and I'll show you. We're on sort of close to the middle where the cross, 
where they kind of all meet in the middle. So I'm going to tie it like this. Okay, so here we go. So it's tied on there like this, right? So now I'm just going to kind of go around and I'm going to double it up. I kind of want it to look like a spider web. So I'm just going to keep weaving it through like this. And I'm just going to keep going around. And then I'm going to get a little bit further out because I kind of want it to look like a web. Like a spider has been living there. Wow. That's the giant cave spider's web. It is gigantonomous. So I'm just going to keep doing it until I kind of like how much is on there. And I think I kind of like it right there. So now I'm going to tie another little knot here. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to use my scissors. Be very careful. Okay. And I'm going to tie these two together. So it looks like a spider web. And then let's take a look at it. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of creepy. Now I'm going to take a little bit more glue. Just squeeze a little bit out. My glue's a little crazy lately. Now take oh here's a little glue for me. I'm gonna put a little glue right in the middle because that's where I think I'm gonna put my spider. I'm gonna take this big spider. This big one. And I'm just gonna put him right in the middle. Right? Okay. I'm gonna actually do it to my other one too, but I think I'm gonna use the white thread, the white string. So I use the white, I'll show you again. We'll make us we'll make one more. So are you afraid of spiders? They kind of freak out a little bit. So there you go. So it's sort of close to the middle. And again, I'm just gonna start looping it around so it kind of looks like it's a web. Okay. And are you excited for Halloween? Did you pick out your costume yet? I'm wearing my Halloween costume right now. I think I have my costume picked out. I'm excited. I like handing out candy. I like seeing all the kids dressed up in their costumes. Last night we painted some pumpkins. I painted some pumpkins with some kids, so that was super fun. All right, here we go. I think I'm ready. I'm gonna cut my string. Here's my other one. So here you go. So here's my string. So I cut the string so I have this one and this one, I'm gonna tie these two together, the one that I started with and the one that I finished with. And that's kind of where my web will sort of connect. Ooh, this one looks pretty good too with the white, I like it. So here's the other one. And I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna get a little glue. I'm gonna put a little glue right in the middle so I can stick my spider, but you can certainly put more than one spider on there if you want. I have a couple of spiders, but I think usually it's one spider per web. Let's take a look. So there you go. So now I have two. I have my orange and purple one with my spider on it. And then I have my, I did the one where I did purple and black and gold. And I have my spider in the middle of it. And now it matches my other one back there. So I hope you had fun making this craft with me. Um, I look forward to seeing you in November. And you can find all of the crafts that we've done on our YouTube channel for Creations for Cures. So I look forward to doing another craft with you in November. Thanks. Bye, guys.